Hey everybody, it's John from Seattle Coffee Gear. We're in the commercial kitchen today doing a commercial crew review of the new grinder from Malconig. I'm probably butchering that pronunciation, so forgive me if I am, but this is the new E65S grinder, uh, espresso grinder from them. We've had it for a little bit here. We've been really enjoying the results we've gotten from it. So let's dive in and talk about some of the specs. If you couldn't guess from the name, this has 65 millimeter flat burrs. Uh, I believe those are the same burrs that were in the K30 Vario. This grinder is actually replacing the K30 Vario and that's no longer available in the US. Uh, so the K30 Air is still available. That's priced a little bit less than the E65S is, but this is definitely uh, a different grinder. As you can see, it's a little bit more narrow. It's a little bit taller. It still has these color options on the side here. So this is the one with the white side panels. Um, some of the changes have been made to the hopper, just the hopper shape. Um, has this bag clip up here um, so you can show your customers or not forget what coffee you're serving. If you're forgetful like we are, because we go through a lot of different coffee here uh, in the commercial kitchen. Um, the adjustment is right here. Um, I'm not going to adjust it uh, unless it's running. Uh, it's what Malconig and all manufacturers recommend. It does not have the locking mechanism like the K30 Vario did. Instead, that's moved to the back here um, and it's a little switch. Uh, we'll get a shot of that um, so you can see what that switch looks like. Um, this is the chute. It's removable. Just kind of clicks in and out of place there and you can adjust the angle of the chute by adjusting this little plastic piece up and down. We had it at the highest angle and that's what was aiming directly in the center of our port filter Back into place there. This drip tray, or not drip tray, but grounds tray, hangs out right here and it has this little magnet on it that brings it right into place. Uh, this portafilter rest is adjustable with these two bolts on either side, so you really can get it to hold your portafilter in there, uh, as we will see once we're actually using it. Um, one of the new changes here is this screen. Uh, so this is where all your programming, all your controls are going to come from, and we'll get an up-close shot of that so you can see here. Um, Overall, it's a very well-made, very sturdy grinder. Uh, has uh, 1,650 RPM burr speed uh, from that, I think it's about 500 watt motor. So pretty powerful, uh, good burr speed, good grind speed. It's pretty quiet. Um, it does have a fan on the bottom of it as well to help keep it cool. Uh, we'll talk about um, how to operate it to keep it in that temperature range at the end but let's go ahead and reset so we can get a better look at the programming of it. This is the programming screen here. It's controlled uh, with this really simple, easy to operate knob. So um, very clean looking. I really do like that. Um, you have all these different settings here. Um, it's kind of addicting to scroll through. To change them from this menu, you hold down this button until it flashes. Then you can change your time and press that again. So you have your different icons for like a double, a single spout, single shot, double shot. Um, this is a continuous run. Um, this is um, just different icons for different grind times. If you tap this twice, it takes you into this menu here. You have your recipes. And when you saw those five different recipes, you can adjust how many recipes show up by changing this. You can go up to six uh, or one. Let's put it down to three and that'll chop off whatever my last recipe was. And then I can also change my icon to whatever I want it to be here. I'm gonna leave it at single, scroll down here, perfect. And that third recipe is that manual run. I'm gonna exit out there. I can go into settings, look at that, and then go into stats, and that's where you find all that. And then you have service in here as well. So you can find your alerts, a software update, machine info, and then exit back out of there to the main screen. So that is all the programming of this grinder. Super simple to operate with just this knob and clicking. 
uh, and holding to change that time. Uh, very easy to operate and it feels really nice and sturdy and solid when you're making those changes on it. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of play in it, but it does feel pretty good. Malconic is always known for having really good fit and finish, at least from my experience. And so really, uh, really nice, uh, really functional, uh, really like it. Let's go ahead and do some grinding on this now. I have this set for 3.3 seconds. Um, and that was giving me about 20 grams is what I was aiming at. So as I said, pretty quick grind time. And I do really like the way that this holds the Porta filter. It feels very secure. And that's about 21 grams. Let's, that's 20.8. Let's grind another one and see what we get. Um, they do recommend that you wait about 26 seconds between uh, each four second grind time uh, to allow the fan to operate and keep everything cool. Uh, so that equates to about two double shots per minute which in a standard cafe flow uh, would work okay. Uh, even if you're working on a two group machine, it's gonna be about average. You can do more than that, but you'll notice the grounds do come out hot when you're doing more than two double shots a minute. Um, let's see what this comes out at. Um, the grounds are super fluffy, uh, 20.9, so only a tenth higher. Going here, 20.3. Let's do one more. So it seems like, in our experience, that 20.2, yeah. So once it does start to get a little bit warmer, uh, it seems like the, uh, the consistency does drop a little bit. So if you're, if you're purging out, uh, you know, whatever's left in there after you change a grind setting, the grounds do come out a little bit warmer. If you're using it in their recommended duty cycle, then it does work pretty well and the grounds do stay uh, at room temperature, if not a little cool. So excited for that. Uh, let's see here, anything else that we didn't cover? Um, let's go to that continuous run. So if I do this, it's going to keep going until I let off that button. Um, which is nice to have that as a function. Um, and the fact that it's a clear distinction from this button here means it's, uh, it's difficult to get confused between what is the continuous run and what is that double shot. So baristas aren't sitting here running the grinder without realizing it. Um, believe it. Believe me, it does happen. Um, the adjustments up here um, I'm not the biggest fan of. Uh, this still has some play in it before you get to actually making an adjustment. Um, it does work well, but it can be hard if you're just trying to make a finite adjustment. You can go too far or too little. So it, is, it does take a little bit of getting used to um, making this adjustment here. Uh, but that's probably my only gripe about this uh, is just this adjustment. It takes a little bit of getting used to. Um, and then it does seem like there is a decent amount of retention inside the grinder. Uh, you do have to purge out probably two to four shots uh, to get to your next grind setting if you make an adjustment. So keep that in mind as well. It is a very quiet grinder. Uh, not super loud. Let's see what that was. Yep, yeah, 20.6. So once it's cooled down here, it did get back into that similar range. Um, and flavor-wise, um, the burrs are great. They do make a great espresso. Uh, we've been really happy with it. Overall, if you're looking for something that is a really quality feeling grinder, it's gonna be a fast grinder, maybe not extremely high volume because of that duty cycle recommendation, this is a great choice. Uh, it's really well built, uh, very silent, very fast, uh, very accurate, and plus it just looks killer. So we've really enjoyed having this here. Uh, if you guys want one of these for your cafe, you could do, uh, well, it's a great grinder for your cafe. So it is pretty tall, so maybe not the best home grinder. If you're looking for a commercial grinder for your home, it's pretty tall. So keep that in mind, cabinet height, that sort of thing. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about this grinder or any of our other products, leave us a comment down below. If you have questions about commercial equipment, give us a call. We'd love to talk with you about commercial equipment or opening a coffee shop. 
Uh, if you liked the video, give it a like. If you want to see more videos, subscribe to the channel. We're always posting stuff for home, commercial, pretty much everything, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.